Hey, it's Chris here from Burger Trout Fitters. Today we're gonna to tie the Fat Alberts. A lot of flotation because of the foam, so it's gonna support a size six streamer hook really nicely. I like to pre-cut all the foam that I'm gonna use for these flies. And I'm using flat wax nylon, especially the early part where we wrap on our thread and then secure down the foam. You want a nice, strong thread. Flat wax nylon works so great. So I'm gonna go about a third of the way on the hook and now I'm gonna tie in my first strip. Now, the first color you choose is actually gonna be the back of the fly. It's gonna be the color that shows up on top of it. So in this case, I'm going with black and I'm just gonna wrap really tight concentric wraps. That foam is gonna compress and it's gonna give me a, a bit of a thicker body. Once I get two thirds of the way down the hook, then I'm gonna put on my second color, but this is actually gonna be the color that the fish sees. I'm going with a brown tone here. And again, as you wrap that flat wax nylon nice and tight, it's just gonna compress both of those foam strips down. It also creates a bit of a taper so that the butt of the fly gets a little bit thicker. I'm gonna wrap this right to the bend of the hook, even going a little bit down the curve of the hook just to give it that kind of buggy appearance. Now at this point I'm doing tight wraps, but one of the key things about this fly is you have to be very nuanced about how much pressure you put with the thread. As I wrap down the first color, this is gonna be a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna to try to make four even bubble shapes, if you will, but if you squeeze the thread down too hard, the foam's gonna wrap around the entire hook, and I don't want that. I want it to just wrap down on the sides. It's also very important we get the proportions right, so don't make these too big. We want four even bubbles going to about a third of the way from the eye of the hook as you can see here. Now we wrap over the shell back, the black foam in this case, and again, don't feel like you gotta reef that thread down. Time for the wing. We're gonna use angel hair in this case. I like that it gives a little bit of flash. I'm just putting a small section that I've doubled over. I'm gonna lock that down onto that same thread spot. Cut it just a bit longer than the butt section. Now we're gonna put on some uh, predator fiber in this case. You could use poly yarn, anything you want, and uh, just trim it, and again, same length as the flash. Now we're gonna put on our third strip of foam and I like to use a high vis color because these do sit deep in the water and the high vis really lets you see where you're fishing this. It's also gonna push down that wing and make it lay nice and flat. All right, rubber legs time, and I've just taken two strands. I've tied a simple overhand knot, and it puts a kink in it to make it look like a hopper's leg. I'm gonna tie that to both sides and get the knot so that it's the same distance as the butt section on this fly. Now we're gonna wrap the thread up to just behind the uh, eye of the hook, and this is gonna be our larger thorax section. I'm gonna tie down the first piece of brown foam, and again, not too tight. We want it to wrap around, but not conceal the thread body underneath. Then we're gonna put down our second layer of foam, and again, just a nice gentle wrap, and then the high vis part on top, and now we've got a nice thorax section here. Okay, now we're gonna pull the rubber legs forward along the exact side of the body, and I'm just gonna lock those down with very delicate wraps here at first. I'm gonna do both sides. I like to turn the vise sideways. That way I can just have gravity assist me in keeping those exactly where I want them. Now I'm gonna splay those out. Now I'm gonna take two more sections of rubber leg and just do a classic tie, like a V pattern here. We wanna have a lot of rubber legs. It gives this fly a buggy appearance and a lot of movement. Now on this particular pattern, I like to tie all the rubber legs in the same section, but you can certainly tie some of the rubber legs further back on the fly if you want. Now pull the foam out of the way, lock down some thread wraps, and uh, then wet finish this fly to finish it off, and that's gonna lock everything in place. Now at this point, we're gonna finish trimming the thread. I'm gonna clean up some of the rubber legs so that they're all a nice even length. And then when it comes to the back legs, I'm gonna trim those off as well, and we have a double section of rubber. I'm gonna clip one of those sections off, and this gives it a nice hopper kind of look. Lots of movement. Our last step now is gonna be to trim the head. I like to turn it on its side and just kind of round off to give it more of a natural shape. And there you have it, that's a Fat Albert. Put some uh, sealant down and it's ready to go. Now this is a great high flotation bug. It's fantastic for hopper dropper rigs. Um, this is very similar to a commercial tie where it's a little bit fatter, but actually I find that a lot of anglers prefer to tie this fly a little bit skinnier and a little bit smaller, and that seems to work well. You can play with many different colors and patterns, and it's a really effective hopper pattern. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, you can get all the materials at bovertroutfooters.com.